please be naughty to see what I got up to and what is in these bags. Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, as we can tell by all the shopping bags I have been surrounded with, your girl's been busy. Makeup released the Mammoth Holiday Collection and they dropped out on the 8th of November and I've been busy. I have seriously been busy. They released the, and for those of you who are not in Australia, Mecca is our one-stop beauty shop for all our major make makeup brands. We do have Sephora here, but the rights to certain brands are a bit different. So, the big Mecca release. They had level three insider access. They didn't have everything up there, but I got some things. Other stuff I wanted to actually play with in store. Then the new per one of the new Perth stores that was refurbished got opened and they let them have access to most of the holiday collection as well. So I picked some stuff up there as I was checking out the new store. And then finally they did the big release and I picked more stuff up. Now, I will not lie to you guys, I'm still looking. I have the catalog and I've been circling things. How stunning is the packaging guys. It's got like a holographic laminated bit of film over it. So when it catches the light and the different the boxes also look like this. The boxes are gorgeous. So I'm also wanting to order something online just to get the box as well. But the mini bags have like a different design on them. The big bags have a different design. They collaborated with the artist Rebecca Bowman. She's a Western Australian artist. She's a female as well. She's gorgeous. So I think we've done enough chatting. Let's get into it. I will be linking everything down below, what I can find anyway. If something is not on stock on in stock online, don't fear. Use the store locator feature. Find out what stores it's available in. Give them a ring beforehand. We'll start with this bag since it's in my hand. So I got the Diptyque um, Bertme de Ambre. I can't speak French, so I'm butchering that. But the Amber Candle. I got the mini version. It's the blue one. They came out with the Christmas set. They have this one blue, then they have green, and they have the red one. The green one smells like pine trees, but I don't really like it. And the red one I forgot, but this is the one I really liked. So this was 55 Australian dollars. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. It's gorgeous. And you can tell how well scented a candle is when just by unwrapping it, you can smell it already. It is stunning. I'm so excited to jump into this. Now, just so you guys know, the candle itself, the glass it's in is blue, but the actual decor, is, it's a sticker as well. So just so you know, in case that's not, doesn't take your fancy, but it's really cute packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't wait to burn this during the holiday season. All right, next. I don't know if this was a holiday release per se, but it was on display there. I'm a simple girl. I see, I pick, I buy. <laughs> this is the Bayredo La Selection Nomad. Bayredo is actually a Swedish brand, but a lot of their stuff is in French. Um, Eau de Parfum, it's a set of three Eau de Parfums. Um, Val de Freak, Blanche and Gypsy Water. These are very popular. Gypsy Water is on my wish list, my fragrance wish list. The other two, I was like, I've heard about them. Let's go smell them. I really love all three of them. So I think it's a great way to try them. Comes in a set. They are 12 mils each. That's like a little sleeve that's on it. And then it has this case. I think it's going to be perfect for gifting as well. If you know anyone who's a fragrance junkie, new to fragrance or has been wanting to try some Byredo, I think it's a great way of getting them into it. So it comes in this nice box. You can gift. Mecca also does complimentary gift wrapping. Next, I've got an item that I didn't necessarily buy during Christmas time, but I've not really shown it. It is the Byredo Bibliotheque Candle. It is the large size. This, I don't even want to tell you guys how much I paid for this because I'm going to feel the judgment from the screen. This is Bibliotheque. I bought this small one, loved it, finished it in a week, which obviously I won't do with this one. And it's not that it didn't last, it's just that I was burning it every day because I loved the smell of it. It was gorgeous. So I got the mini. Loved it. It was $96. 60 hours burn time made in France. The glass is mouth blowing. So it is 240, 240 grams. Love the aesthetic. The fact that it's black, it's gonna go with everything. It's minimalist. Love it. Love it. Barreto can do no wrong in my opinion. Next I have the Lano Lips Kiss Me Cracker. This is cute. This one was 22 Australian dollars and it contains two of the Lano Lips 101 um, multi balm, the ointment multi balms. It's just got two different scents. It's got the peach and the strawberry. So it comes like this in a cute cracker. They're individually wrapped and they are both, they're 10 grams each. 
not bad at all. I've been wanting to try the Lano Lips formula. I think this is a great way to try it. They have a few crackers, but they and they also have baubles where it's just the one ointment. But I've been wanting to try a new lip balm as well. And this is gonna make a this would make a great gift and like even like a Kris Kringle or something. This would be cute. It's pretty inexpensive, so you can just gift that. So that's great. So a lot of these gifting items you can just get yourself, and they're really good intros into brands. Next, I have a fun one. This one is from Nas. This is the provocateur palette i wasn't this was not on my radar it was not on my list i wasn't really going to get any of the nas holiday collection looks amazing i just didn't need any of it and they've done like a punk theme inspired holiday collection this palette is 71 australian dollars it's a six pan palette i'm liking nas a lot more now I'm becoming a lot more switched on to them it wasn't on my list i swatched it and then i fell in love with it and i slept on it for a while and then i just went and got it so it looks like this it's amazing it's got this like hard shell you guys need to check it out so it looks like this so six pan but they're quite big um shadows quite big pans they're well they're 1.6 grams so they're nice these shades guys i've not even played with this yet but the shades i'm just gonna show you guys now this shade and the silver just look at that Look at the duochrome, like, they're stunning and it's like a punk kind of, you know, they're just stunning, absolutely stunning. So I just went for it. I usually don't do that. I usually try and think my, especially palettes, think them through, but it's pretty small, fits in your hand. I think it's really nice. Next we have the Mecca Max All Eyes On You eyeshadow palette. This one I saw from the sneak peeks on Instagram and I said, yes, that, whatever that is, I want it. Mecca is stepping up their game with their home brand, so this is a 25 a whopping 25 shadow palette comes with a mirror vegan and cruelty free it has got 12 so it's 12 months guaranteed they're 1.5 grams each look at the color look at the packaging first of all let's commend them for that it's gorgeous and then look at the shades how stunning is that absolutely stunning you've got your these shades swatch amazing as well let's just dig in the gold swatch is amazing this teal here as well the blue even swatch is really nice because that drew me in look at this it is absolutely stunning so for me i said i'll try it i'll definitely be reviewing it as well it retails for 40 australian dollars which is a bargain for a palette of this size and hopefully the quality lives up to it but i'll just swatch it on my arm it's stunning guys absolutely stunning look at that so everyone's stepping it up. So that's that one, 40 Australian dollars. Moving right along, we'll keep going. We've got the Drunk Elephant Inspector Drunk Night Kit. This is a whopping $143. Now, before I see the eye rolls with <laughs> the judgment, I was going to buy the, so it can't, before actually, before we get into that, it's got the Glycolic Serum full size. It's got a deluxe best day LA cleanser sample and then the rest of sample size. B Hydra Moisturizer, Lala Retro Moisturizer, which are popular, and the C Tango Eye Cream as well, which I've tried, but we need some more, some more sample I wanted to try more of. So I loved all the things that were in here and the offerings. I was already going to buy the Glycolic Serum. The price of the serum at $20, you get this, and you get four other samples of their products to try anyway. So I said that makes sense. It's in a nice set. This would be great for gifting anybody who is really into their skincare, loves the brand, or even for yourself. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like inside. It comes in this magnifying glass and again, I just like the value and I like the fact that it comes in a nice kit. So you get these, great size. So this is a 30 mil size cleanser. The um, rest of the things are eight. So this moisturizer is eight mils, this eye cream is five mils, and this is 15 mils. And then you get the full 30 mils. So I think it is quite good bang for your buck. There is a cheaper version, the day kit. I think it's called Agent Ellie or something like that. And that one's got the day, the vitamin C, but the only thing it's a bit cheaper, but I just don't like the product in there as much. And I think you get better value with this one. So that's that. And then the store that I went to that opened, they had the offer where you spend $85 or more in store and you get to pick from their goodie bag. So I picked and this is what I got. I got two of the Mecca Cosmetica Tinted Lip Delushes. This is in the chocolate, the glossy chocolate tint, which is gorgeous. So I got two. 
really chuffed and elated for that. They didn't have to do that. That was nice of them and I booked the packaging ready. <laughs> Gorgeous rose gold lid and the balm which is 10 mils. 10 mil balm has a nice pot. I haven't actually dug into it so you're seeing it firsthand. It's got a nice chocolatey scent, not too overpowering, so that will be nice to try. So I'm really grateful that I got that as well. We're doing good, we're doing good, guys. Next, I got the Fleur Phantom candle. It is not part of the holiday collection per se, this mini candle, but it is in one of their mini sets. The only reason I didn't get that set is because I already have Bibliotech and this was the only other one I really liked. Burning Rose was the other one, but it was too strong. It was too much rose. It was giving me a headache just from sniffing it. 146 Australian. It's a mini, basically. So I just wanted to try and get the mini. I didn't want the set, but I still wanted the candle. So that is that. So like I said, guys, I did go by Redo Crazy this time. I don't know why, but I really <laughs> liked the stuff they were ordering. You know, sometimes you discover a brand and you just go crazy for it. Next, another gorgeous wrap. This is a brand I've not yet tried before. This is Ray Morris. I got this set. This set I had my eye on and I think she made this set just for me. <laughs> this set is pretty expensive though. It's $150 but Ray Morris isn't cheap. She's a makeup artist. World renowned has earned her place in the industry. So this is $150 and it comes with the two items already on my wish list to try and to own so she just put them together and you're saving about 25 bucks getting these two i think if you were to get these two items by individually it'd be about 175 so i saved 25 bucks so it's the mattifier powder and the kabuki brush in number one so it comes with this nice set nice christmas set it's a bit of an indulgence for me so you get it comes with all the like ray morris tissue paper it's really nice i think it's nice when brands offer you gift sets that save you money so it comes like this i'm not gonna undo everything yet because i want to do this myself and i'm gonna try and keep this brush guard it's the number one deluxe kabuki which you can use for powder for blush for, for not for, i won't use for foundation blush bronzer powder highlight that kind of stuff and like i said already on my list i've played with it in store this one is new she just came out with i think this one a lot of people were a bit like uh oh basically silicone but it's her invisible mattifier powder it's made in italy it's literally clear you can see the label at the other end of the packaging but i'll show you it's there's a lot of silicones in there but because i'm oily skin i think it'd be really nice to set especially just my t-zone mainly and even to use as like blotting during the day i think would be gorgeous so it looks like this so like i said you can literally see my hand through the end and you can see the pack the label through the back so it's like this and it's just like a clear powder basically so you'll feel it feels like silicone -y when you touch it but when you put it on it's powder it's gorgeous i put it in store i've put foundation on my hand put it on top the finish is nice she's got a nice on the site she's got a video for it on her website as well i think a lot of makeup artists will find use in this too so i want to use it not as my everyday powder but just to to try and then last thing last mega item in the haul have you guys been totaling this gorgeous packaging again she packaged it gorgeous and guys if it's a gift just say it's for you even if it's for yourself just say it's a gift so they give you the packaging i didn't do that but you can do that and they'll give you the name tag and everything like that so i got the byredo la selection boys so this is the set i was talking about that has the fleur phantom candle that set's called violet so that that means like florals and this is boys so this is the wood this is the wood the cedar wood sandal wood set so it's got bohemia cotton poplin and treehouse smell all of them in store love them very woody gorgeous 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 scents so i'm going to try these and if i love all of them i'll get them all in full sizes eventually and if i only like one or two I have preference of them I'll get them but it's a great way to try I will open it and show you guys so it comes like this with the nice sleeve and then it has this nice box with the vibrato very nice brand for people who are into minimalism as well or just that nice simple interface modern stuff so this is the set it is stunning with the signature black so you've got cotton poplin bohemia and treehouse i'm pretty sure i read on his website that it said they're in order of how you should burn them during the day like light medium heavy so you know early during the day afternoon and then evening but 
I don't know if I'm gonna go by that. I'm just going to <laughs> whatever I think smells nice. <sighs> so nice. That is everything that I picked up from the Ma Mammoth Mega from the Mega Mammoth Mecca holiday release. Comment below have you already shot the Mecca holiday releases? If you did, love to know what you get, or if you haven't yet, you're thinking of it. Let me know what you're thinking of getting. Love to continue the combo. Consider hitting that subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss any more videos and ringing the bell if you're already subscribed so you don't miss out on any videos coming up. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you back here again, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Click here to catch my last video. Click here to also subscribe. And click here for more from me to speak to you. Till next time, guys.